Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I am the mompreneur here behind A Crafty Concept where I design crochet patterns and then help crocheters make those things and sell them in their handmade businesses. I have a passion for helping crocheters start and grow crochet businesses. So if that is you, welcome to my channel. This video is a little bit different. Today I'm going to show you my top 20 perfect Christmas gifts for crocheters. So if you are a crocheter, send this to the people who love you. And if you have a crocheter in your life and you are trying to find them the perfect Christmas gift that they will actually enjoy this year, you are in the right spot, my friend. So stay tuned. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up while you are watching. And if you are vibing with my energy and want to learn more about crochet businesses and get a whole bunch of awesome free crochet patterns, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That helps me out a lot. And I'm going to focus on growing my YouTube channel in 2021. That's my goal. So let's dive into my top 20 amazing gifts crocheters actually want this holiday season. These gifts are not in any particular order, but I will say that the number one gift, the first gift on the list is probably number one in my book anyway, just coincidentally, and that is a set of Clover Amour crochet hooks. These are my favorite crochet hooks to work with. This type of metal that they use just goes through the yarn so smoothly. It makes crocheting unbelievably fa like faster, smoother, prettier work. The rubber handle helps the crochet hook to stay still in your hand so you're not subconsciously trying not to let the thing fly out of your hand while you're crocheting. A lot of people always comment, how do you crochet so fast? I can't believe you can crochet so fast. I have been doing it for a very long time so that's one reason but I definitely do think using Clover and more crochet hooks is another one of the reasons why I'm able to crochet as fast as I am. So if you love somebody who crochets, get them this beautiful pack of 10 crochet hooks called Clover Amour. I forgot to say this at the beginning, but all of the links to these things are in the description below, as well as a readable version of this video too. If you would rather read instead of hear me speak, there's a link to the blog post that goes with this video in the description. So blog post and all of the gifts are in the description below. Number two on my crocheters gift list this year, sticking with the hook theme, is this set of Clover uh, gross. I don't know what all that is. Looks like spilled coffee. Whatever. I run on coffee. This set of Clover Tunisian crochet hooks. You get a bunch of sizes. They come in this little bag that you can keep them in and then they have a little pocket for your cord stoppers which are these things right here and then a little pocket for your cords as well. These attach to the end of these hooks and you can make a very knit looking fabric with Tunisian crochet. If you are a crocheter and you've never tried Tunisian crochet, I have some really fun Tunisian patterns on my blog. Um, the Tunisian heart beanie is probably the most beginner friendly Tunisian crochet pattern I will ever release because it was very much in lots of lots of detail and step by step. So that would be a great place to start. If you've never tried Tunisian crochet before, I will put a link to that video in the description below and also a link to grab yourself or for a loved one to grab you a pack of these Tunisian crochet hooks. They are made from wood and they they glide through the yarn really nicely. I do. I've used a couple other brands of Tunisian crochet hooks after using these ones and I was like mm, I like my clover ones better. They just are they glide through the yarn easier than some of the generic brands do. Number three on my list is a knitting machine. If you have a crocheter in your life and they do not have a knitting machine or if you're a crocheter yourself without a knitting machine, these babies are so much fun. You can crank out tubes or flat panels. I've only made a flat panel one time. Tubes, tubes are my jam. But you can make beanies, adult size beanies, child size beanies. You can make, um, I've seen people make stuffed animals out of these. You can make really wide headbands, like the twisted headbands if you wanted to. Um, I have a couple Addy patterns on my blog, and then my friend Taylor has a whole bunch of Addy patterns. I will show you a hat that I made on this machine. Here's what they look like. This one is the Bonfire Beanie Pattern by Taylor Lynn Crochet. I will link it below. But this is what it looks like 
like the fabric that you get when you use the knitting machine. It's gorgeous. It's unbelievably stretchy and it's really, really quick. You can crank out one of those beanies in like 15 minutes with one of these. And I, I love using these. This is the 46 needle Addy brand. There is a 48 needle off brand. I think it's called S-E-N-T-R-O. I have one of those as well. Um, and it's a good brand too. The one that I have doesn't have a row counter. So I suggest getting the row counter one. This one has a row counter. So it tells me how many rows I have cranked out so I can get the same size beanie every time. But these are super fun. They're great for adding something quick to your crochet shop or making gifts for people, things like that. Um, so I put this in on the list as well and links to everything again below. I also linked to the SENTRO brand because um, these are a little bit pricey and the other one is a little bit cheaper. So those are both going to be linked below for you guys. Number four on our crocheter Christmas wish list is crafty merch. If you have been following me for a while, I used to have like 10 pieces of crafty merch in my Etsy shop and I took them all down and have switched suppliers now to a local girl to Kentucky. She's 19 years old, a solo entrepreneur like myself trying to build her business. So she will be my new drop shipper. And um, so I had to change everything and it's been a little bit of a process, but we now have two designs available in my shop. One being this one, which is the Crochet Boss Academy shirt for all of my lovely Crochet Boss Academy members, but I also have one in the same shirt, but the saying says, I'd rather be crocheting, which is my favorite. I posted a poll over on my Instagram account and said, hey, which of the merch shirts do you guys wanna see first back in the shop? That one won by a landslide, so that is the one we went with. I will put links to everything below as always, but here's a picture of what the I'd rather be crocheting shirt looks like. Just like this one, same fabric, same uh, process, like t-shirt making process. It just has a different saying on it. This is a small, it is pre-shrunk, very comfortable, very cozy, and very cute. And it also helps Kaylee, that's my solo, solopreneur um, a friend who makes the shirts help her start and grow her brand new business. So I'm super excited to be working with her now. That is why I had to put crafty merch on the list and I will be adding lots more crafty merch over the next few weeks and months until we get all of our designs back in this new shop with Kaylee instead of the big box company that I was using previously. Number five on my crochet or Christmas wish list is a Dymo laser printer. This one is specifically for my crochet uh, boss ladies who are building crochet businesses. If you are getting a lot of Etsy orders, you need to get yourself a shipping label printer. I have the Dymo 4XL. I love it. I've had it since 2017, I think, early 2017. Um, it was a great investment. I, I haven't had any major issues. Sometimes it gets finicky and I just unplug it and plug it back up. I use off-brand labels that I get off of Amazon. The machine company recommends that you do not use that. It voids your warranty and all those things, but I've been using them since 2017 and have had no major issues, just a little bit of finicky stuff here and there. Um, but I highly recommend getting one of these machines. They make shipping a million times easier. You don't have to tape anything. You don't have to type in your packaging. You don't, you don't even have to go to the post office. You can print your shipping labels right from your Etsy shop, stick a label to your package, put the package in your mailbox, raise the flag, and your mailman will take it. Um, at least mine does. I don't know if, if where you live if things are different, but that's how it works here in Kentucky, um, and it's, it makes things a whole lot easier. So if you have or someone that you love very much has an Etsy shop, think about getting them a Dymo label printer for Christmas. Number seven on my crochet Christmas wish list is crafty stickers. This is another thing that I have designed that is available in my shop and let me grab a couple so I can show them to you. Here are some of the crafty stickers that I have available in my shop and ready for purchase. This is a sheet of all kinds of different crafty stickers. You've got some cute yarn emoji looking things, uh, makers gonna make, community over competition, rip it, rip it, a skein, crochet queen, hooker, ballin, and then this lovely crochet hook down the side. All of these peel off of this sheet and can be placed on things. And then I also have individual stickers as well. This one is for my Crochet Boss Academy members. It's a little crochet boss arm holding a crochet hook. I don't know how blurry these are and I apologize. If they look awful, I will pop up some pictures while I speak. This is a Gracie doll 
drawing to look just like one of my crochet patterns, the Gracie doll. And then I have this crochet a clock sticker, which is definitely one of my favorites. There are a couple more available in my shop as well. I have a, a sticker with multiple Gracie dolls across it and a new cactus, a Christmas cactus sticker that I actually will be making the listing for today. So it should be in the shop already by the time you're watching this video, if it hasn't sold out. Um, but I love designing these stickers. They are super high quality. I get them printed professionally from Sticker Mule. I have a full tutorial on my blog if you guys wanna learn how to make your own stickers and have links to Sticker Mule and all of those things, I will put it below. This description is gonna be honking. So look through it slowly so you don't miss something, but also if you don't see something you're looking for, pop it in the comments and I will reply with the link for you as well that way. Um, but stickers are really super cool. You can stick them on anything. You can put them on your phone, your iPad, your laptop, a coffee mug. I've put one on a coffee mug. These things are dishwasher safe. They're tear resistant. They're waterproof. They are very, very high quality and I love designing them and I love seeing you guys sticking them on things. So that is why I had to make them a part of the crochet Christmas gift list. Moving right along. Next up on our list, we have AirPods. I got these a long time ago. They are not the cool ones that charge on the charging pad. These ones are one of the first models that they came out with, but I love them because I can listen to my business podcasts and crochet at the same time without my hook getting caught in my AirPods cord. These are also perfect for if you are watching YouTube videos and you need to walk around, like if you're cleaning your room or something, like when I'm cleaning my craft room, I like to listen to YouTube videos or business podcasts or something like that, and I can walk around while I clean up my yarn without tripping over my cord, pulling my cord, losing my, like having them yank out of my ears, things like that. Um, they also have a little microphone in them, so they're good for doing videos like this one if you needed a microphone instead of just using the phone, the microphone that comes on your device like I'm using today. Um, these work really well for those. They make a cute little stocking stuffer because they're so tiny and you can crochet really cute um, cases to go around them. I've never tried that, but I've seen some adorable ones and I'm super jealous of folks who can crochet with like thread instead of yarn. Um, uh, because tiny things are cute. Uh, that's why these are on the list. They are an awesome business tool and they just make crocheting while taking in information a little bit easier. So that's why they're on the list. Next up, number nine, we have our first book that is on the Crocheter's Christmas gift list and that is Modern Crochet by my friend Teresa over at Dave Rose NYC. Teresa is an amazing crochet designer and she designs a lot of very simple but elegant and gorgeous pieces. And this book has everything in it. I mean, even she even put a, um, a ruler on the inside cover so you can check your gauge while you're working. It has, I'm gonna show you the table of contents because this is unbelievably packed full with everything you could ever need. So she talks about the fundamentals of yarn and crocheting and all of that good stuff. She talks about then she has, so how to read a pattern, talks about yarn, talks about tools, talks about abbreviations. Like she literally says everything you need to know. Then she's got patterns and then she talks about um, stitches and different skills. Very, very helpful for first time crocheters. You can see some of her gorgeous pictures over there on the side. And I will show you what one of the patterns look like. So she's got the pattern over here and then more pictures like this. So this book is very well made, very beautiful. It sits open flat when you're working on it. So you don't have to worry about losing your spot. It'll just lay flat when you lay it on the table, which also makes it perfect for flat lay photos. If you wanna take a picture of your pattern, like your whip with like the picture of the finished thing that you're working on it and then tag Teresa in your picture. I'm sure she would love that. So um, I think those little details like that are very awesome and this book has it and I, I appreciate that. It's also a hardcover book. It was also, look at this, it was artfully, paired down. She is a perfect teacher. Mar Martha Stewart Living. So um, definitely check out this book if you haven't already by my friend Teresa. Moving on to the next crocheter's Christmas gift list. Which list? We have our second book as the 10th. Yes. 
as the 10th gift on my list this year, and that is the Business Boutique book by Christy Wright. I highly recommend this book to anybody who wants to start a crochet business, a small business, any woman. This book is specifically written for women, but the information on it will is good for anybody who wants um, to start a crochet business or any business at all, not just crochet. I'm just used to saying crochet because that's what I talk about. But this book was gifted to me a couple Christmases ago and it was the most thoughtful Christmas gift I had ever received. I read the whole thing and this kind of sparked uh, my business. Like it was very mediocre until after I read this book and then things just kind of exploded. It helped with my mindset. It helped me connect my business with my faith a little bit more. Like this is a fantastic book. I highly recommend it. I reference it all the time when I'm making um, teaching content to help my crochet bosses in the Crochet Boss Academy. And the font is decent size. It's written like she is sitting there speaking to you. It is a very easy read, very easy to understand. There's also an ebook option if you want to listen while you crochet. I like to have the book because I actually highlight and stuff. Also, my copy is signed because my friend who gifted it to me is amazing. Uh, like I said, one of the best gifts I've ever received and this will always be on my Christmas gift roundup videos because I think it's an excellent book and anybody who wants to start a business should definitely read this book. Next up on our list is a set of photography lights. If you have a crochet business and you struggle to take pictures of your crochet of your crocheted things, you need to get yourself a set of these lights. These are called box lights. They have these clear or these white things that go over them that make the light really filtered. It filters out the light so it's not harsh on your face or your product, whatever you are taking photos or videos of. The, the one that I recommend comes with three of these lights, so you can have one overhead and two from the sides. Um, I have had these for a couple years now and I use them all the time. I will tell you they make me very hot. These things put off a lot of heat and I also bought some pretty massive um, light bulbs to go in mine. They're really, really big in size. Um, but these work really, really well when I do any of my videoing or taking product photos. So I highly recommend these. And also when I got these lights and I was able to start taking pictures at night, that was a huge game changer for my business because I have Ava, my daughter, who is five now, but she was like two and a half or three when I first started my business, probably two. She was two. Um, so I spent most of my days wrestling with her and then in the nights is when I got all my work done but I was struggling because I couldn't take pictures at night and after I got these lights set up I was able to do that a little bit better. I just put the three lights up, take the picture, it's well lit, it's easier to edit when it's well lit. So I definitely recommend these lights as a Christmas gift for a crocheter in your life that has a crochet business. Next up, sticking with the photography gift theme, is some vinyl backdrops for you guys to use for your products. Using the same backdrop over and over again in your pictures will help you build brand awareness. It will help your feed look cohesive. It will also help your products to look really professional. Um, I have two of these vinyl, wooden vinyl backdrops that I got from the same company on Etsy. I will link them in the description below. I have this brown one and a white one, and I will also pop up some pictures to show you how I've used them in the past. I haven't been using them much more since we renovated my craft room. I really just like the floor that we put in already before we renovated my craft room. The shiplap wasn't there. The floor was nasty carpet. Um, so I needed to use these a lot. Now I don't have to as often. Um, I still keep them just in case I need to go outside to take some really well lit photos or something like that. Um, but these are a huge game changer when it comes to your photography in your business. If you do not have any of these, um, definitely want to get your hands on one or two of them. Again, the link is down below for you or for your loved ones who want to get you something awesome this year for Christmas. Okay, number 13 on our list. I actually do not have one in real life, so I can't show it to you with my hands, but I can pop up an awesome picture. This is a Swift, and it is from We Crochet or Knit Picks, so the same company. Say you bought a hank of yarn, like hand-dyed yarn. Let me grab some yarn. Okay, so say you bought some gorgeous hand-dyed yarn. This one is from Handmade Fibers. I think it's Sorella, Ashley of Sorella's 
yarn company um that's where i got this yarn from but you would open up the hank and it would it would make a very big circle i can rehank this so i'll go ahead and open it you open up the hank and the gorgeous yarn is in a big old circle i bought this yarn a very long time ago and have never opened it up okay here we go so this is what it comes when you unhank some hand dyed yarn or even if you buy store bought yarn that comes in a hank instead of a ball or a skein or a cake or anything else like that then you would put this around your swift Ugh, so this is my chair but say it was a swift and it would go around it nicely i don't you can't even see but this does not go around my chair nicely the swift would open to fill up this whole thing like like a circle I guess you can tell in the picture what it would look like. Um, but then you can roll it up into a ball or use a, a hand cranker to turn it into a cake so you can have a center pull and you're not trying to crochet like this would be awful. If I tried to crochet just from this, I would get nothing but knots and I would have to throw most of it away. Um, so I always have to ball up anytime I buy hand dyed yarn and a Swift would make that a ton easier. Also, these things um, collapse. And you can just attach them to your workstation and then take them back off, collapse them, put them in your storage closet or something like that. Also, they would look really cool in pictures if you needed a new idea for creating content for your crochet Instagram feeds. Putting your pretty yarn on the Swift while you are turning it into a ball would be a really cool video. People would be mesmerized by watching you do that, but it'd also just be like a, a really cool picture for you to put on your feed as well. Um, so that's why I put the Swift on my Christmas list here. Um, also, We Crochet has sales all the time. So if you subscribe to their email list, you will get notified when they have sales. I will put a link below where you can sign up to their email list, but also a link where you can just buy yourself a Swift or buy your loved one a Swift. Even if your loved one is a knitter, this is something that they would be able to use too. A lot of these things can be used for knitters too. I just don't knit. I am a crocheter. So that's why I'm using the example as crochet, but almost all of these things would be great for knitters too. Maybe not the crochet hooks. They probably wouldn't like hooks if they're knitters, um, just knitters. But other than that, you can get creative. Let's keep it going. We are almost done. Coming in at number 14 is the Namaste Crocheters Backpack. I love this thing. I got it a little over a year ago. This was made by my friend Nadine. I got this a little over a year ago. It is a backpack designed specifically for crocheters and knitters. It has things inside of it specifically for us, like a yarn feeder and then a place for your hooks and it has a place for your laptop. This thing is huge. It has a leash for your keys, but it's also a measuring tape so you can they're like spaced out by an inch so you can use it to measure your makes this thing has been so handy especially before covid and before kindergarten when ava was younger we would go to like the playground or mcdonald's and that's where i would get my work done and that's where i would get some crochet time in and i i filled this backpack up every time i needed to go somewhere i still use this if i need to go on any type of trip or um, I went to a speaking engagement a couple weeks ago at a local university. I took everything that I needed in this backpack. This is my go-to yarn bag when I'm leaving my house. I highly recommend this bag and this company. Um, so again, links below and I will pop up some pictures to show you um, how I've been using it for a long time, like some old Instagram photos. I will show them to you. Number 15 is another book. Let me grab it. So technically this one is an ebook, but I got it printed at Office Depot. And after I record this video, I'm going to record a review of this entire book. So I will link the review in the description below once it's live, but I will also link a place where you can buy this book for yourself. Um, in my review video, I will also show how I got this printed at Office Depot, but it has the little cover over it. All of the pictures are printed out. Look how gorgeous these are. This is a pattern book by my friend Sarah at Sarah D Crochet. And you get all of these patterns for all of these little Christmas guys all within this book. I have made one so far, the penguin, and I'm obsessed with him. Like he is the cutest thing I think I've ever made. Look at his little feet. Like he is precious. So the patterns are very easy to understand. The instructions are written beautifully. She has pictures throughout the entire thing. I'm gonna show you some. So here's the table of contents. 
And the good thing about an ebook is you can buy it and have it immediately. Um, so you could buy it and then it will be in your inbox or um, if you're gifting it to someone, you could just email it to them or you could even get it printed for them. Um, I'm sure they would really appreciate that. So she talks about all of the yarn that she uses and some yarn substitutions that she offers or suggests, I guess. But here, I'm gonna show you what, like each pattern has its own fully finished page to show you what he looks like finished. And then I don't want to give away too much of her design, but like, see how you can see pictures of the finished pieces for all of the pieces? Like, I think she did a phenomenal job. And I'm blown away because she made this all by herself. She photographed it herself. She put it together herself. Like she even has like these little snowflakes, the very subtle snowflakes on the background. The, I This looks so professional to me. Like I was absolutely blown away when she showed it to me. She made this whole thing herself, photographed it. Like I'm, I'm it's one of the, the best eBooks or pattern books that I've ever seen. So if you want to get your hands on one of these, you can make these characters and use them to decorate with during Christmas, use them as Christmas gifts to your kiddos. Like yeah, they're Christmassy, but you could use this little, this little penguin like it's wintry too. It's not just Christmassy. You could switch up some colors, make it less Christmassy if you wanted to. Don't make that look like a little peppermint and just make it a circle. So you could easily use these same patterns throughout the rest of the year. They don't have to be just Christmas patterns, but I highly recommend this book by my friend. Links below and I will link to the review as well. Number 16, we are back with my favorite brand, Clover, with their pom-pom makers. These pom-pom makers are, they make pom-pom making super easy. You just open the arms, wrap the yarn around, close it, open the other arm, wrap the yarn around, close it, cut down that little gap right there, pull it apart, well, cut down, tie it tight, pull it apart, pop it out, very easy. It sounds like a lot, but it's really not. It's super easy. It helps you to get more uniform looking pom-poms with your makes. It makes it a lot faster, um, especially faster than trying to wrap it around cardboard that you cut out yourself. That's how I used to make them before I got these things. So I recommend these. If you are crocheting as a business, the faster you can make your things, the more money you're going to make. So if anything like this can make your job a smidge easier, I highly recommend investing in them. They've got multiple sizes. I will put links to everything down below. We are almost done with our list, but next up, number 17 is this Otlight. I don't have to use it as much as I did when I first bought it. We changed all of the light bulbs in the house to the daylight light bulbs. That's why this dust is flying off of this guy. But he is very handy when you are in a low light situation. Um, with age, I have noticed my eyes just quit working. Um, I am wearing contacts now and I wear glasses now, but when I bought this, I didn't have contacts or glasses and I could not see what I was doing. And this is very handy for lighting up your workspace. It comes with the adjustable neck here so you can set it um, it also has its own little, like it's a floor lamp. So it's got a base down here. Let me not hit the ceiling. It's got a base. It's really heavy. So it's not gonna tip over on you. And it just plugs in to the wall. Makes crocheting in the low light situation so much better. I'm going to take this one downstairs and put it by my couch over in the corner. Um, that way when I'm crocheting downstairs, cause all my good light is in my craft room, but sometimes I like to crochet with my family while they're doing other things and I don't want to turn the overhead lights on like if they're watching a movie I can just turn this one on in the corner and crochet on the couch so that way I can still be with my family but I can also do what I love and be productive in my business as well so I highly recommend an ot light if you work in low light situations and could use some help in the light arena next up number 18 is this adorable hoodie by my friend jessica over at the hook nook i have this hoodie i was going to show it to you on video but i believe it is in the dirty clothes because i wear it all the time it is very lightweight but also very very warm and snug and cozy so this uh, proud hooker hoodie is highly recommended i love the quality of it I think the quality of a hoodie is one of the most important things because when I wear a hoodie, I'm usually wanting to be cozy and warm. Um, and this hoodie does both of those two things. So I had to put this pretty guy on the Christmas crocheters, Christmas gift list 
it's so hard to like put a good groovy name on that. So just, you know, you know what we're doing. You've been hanging out for a while by now. Uh, so that's why this guy made it onto the list. Super cute, super cozy, highly recommend it. Next up on our list is number 19. And you might be able to guess what this is based off of what I talked about earlier. And that was my big knitting machine. But I also have put the little one on this list as well. Let me show it to you. He's hooked up to my table because I've been using it. This is the little Addy. I think this is called an Addy Express, and I think the big one is called an Addy King. I don't remember their names. They confuse me. Um, this one is the 22 needle. You can make things like coffee cozies, little amigurumis. Um, you can make hair bows, headbands, baby headbands. This is too small for beanies. If you was going to make a beanie, it would probably be like a tiny preemie size beanie, um, but it does not work for babies at all. Like no zero to newborn size babies heads can use this. You would need a different size, which Addy doesn't have. Addy only has these two sizes, um, but this is really a fun size for quick makes. I've made myself house socks with this because the way the yarn stretches, it fits lots of different sizes of feet and calves. Um, so I love this. It's amazing to see how fast you can actually crank out a project. I have a bow that you can make, a bow clip that you can make using this guy. I will link it below and pop a picture up for you up here in the corner where you can make it in under five minutes from start to finish with a tiny bit of yarn. It doesn't take much yarn at all. Um, and there's also, I have a pumpkin bow clip as well made with this guy. I will link it below and pop a picture up so you can see what it looks like. Uh, but this is a very, very fun thing to have. It's also cheaper than the big one, which is a plus if you don't have any knitting machines at all and you want to just play with one, see what it's like. This one is cheaper than the big one, but the SENTRO brand is cheaper than both of them. So something to think about if you are thinking about diving into the knitting machine world, which is a fun world to be in and I highly recommend it. Now, our very last thing on this year's list, the 20th thing on year 2020's Christmas for Crocheters gift list is, drum roll please, another book. I have some unbelievably talented friends. This book is called Pretty Punch Needle and it is by my friend Andy. She just released it a couple months ago. This is her first time releasing a book. It is brand new and it is all about punch needle which is not crochet specific but it is yarn specific and we have lots of yarn all those cubby holes are filled with yarn as crocheters and knitters this one this book tells you how to make your own like setup so you can do punch needling tells you all of the tools that you need let's see tells you the types of fabric tells you where you can get your tools all of these things and then she has some patterns that you can use to actually make your punch needle projects. If you've never tried punch needle before, it is unbelievably fun. It's like it's like drawing with yarn into, into a piece of fabric. I have played around with it myself. I actually bought a kit from Andy like two or three Christmases ago. I didn't buy it, it was gifted to me. She used to sell, I don't know if she still sells them, but she sold um, kits that came with everything you need to make a, a punch needle piece. Mine was the flamingo that she had in her shop. So if it's still available, I will link it below for you guys. It was a really fun project. And I've also made some on my own, um, like some organic looking <laughs> mess of, of punch needle, but it's really, really fun. And it's also kind of like a stress reliever, the repeatedness of punching in your little needle to push the yarn through is very stress relieving for myself. Um, I'm sure you guys would enjoy it if you love yarn and making things with yarn and watching, taking something like this and turning it into a beautiful masterpiece, then you will love punch needling and it will give you something to do in between projects when you just need a brain break. That's what my kids kindergartner teacher calls it. They have brain breaks during their Zoom meetings where they just start dancing. So if you need to give yourself a brain break, I suggest punch needling. It is very, very fun. And this book will tell you everything you need to know, not to mention it has beautiful pictures. Beautiful pictures, beautiful color combos that she used. Like, I'm obsessed. She gifted this to me, and I could not be more spoiled. My friends, my t super talented friends absolutely spoil me. So... That is why this is number 20 on our list. Again, they are in no specific order. I hope you guys loved this 
list of 20 gifts crocheters actually want to receive this Christmas. Again, if you are a crocheter, send this video to your loved ones. It will be a very nonchalant way to say, hey, I want number seven. Uh, she even included a link, so you're welcome. Um, and if you are a lover of a crocheter, if there is a crocheter in your life that you love and you want to get them something that they would love as well, anything on this list is going to blow their mind. So this is a great list. I, I have everything except the Swift. I love and use almost everything. I used to use my Alt Light, but I don't use it as much anymore because I got glasses. Um, but I used the fire out of it until then. So I hope this list was helpful. I hope you got some really good ideas. If you like this video again, please be sure to give it a thumbs up for me. If you want to see more list videos in the future, hit that subscribe button because I plan on releasing a video a week starting in January, if not more. So that's the goal. So cross your fingers for me and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.